Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock. Baby Lock sewing and long arm machines, from piecing to long arming for the love of sewing. Arafil, Arafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella, a unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Hovels Sewing, cut to the point with Hovels Sewing. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Northcott, cottons that feel like silk. Omnigrid, providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years. Hi out there, it's Quilty Time. I'm Mary Fonz. Today we are going to take a look at this really cool, it's sort of a disappearing nine patch. They're calling it nine patch rearranged. It has so many different names, but that's the quilt. It's in Modern Patchwork Magazine, so search for nine patch rearranged um, with Modern Patchwork Magazine and you can find the full pattern. You can buy it. You can buy the issue of the magazine that this is in. Um, let's see, you have to look for it. I can't remember right now what issue it's in, but you'll find it easily. So what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna take a look at how this thing goes together. It's really, really simple. Uh, this pattern uses a layer cake. A layer cake in quilting parlance. Um, I'm a quilter by trade. Um, so in, in this um, layer cake, you have 10 inch squares. You get a bunch of them all from the same fabric line. So they all are coordinating, they go together. Moda has planned it out very carefully. So if you make a quilt out of these fabrics, it's gonna look pretty good. So um, we have used this line here, adorable, sweet. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sew these blocks together, or sorry, sew these squares together. Simple as that. You do this. You make this first of all. That's what you make. So you put it down here and then you cut it. And the way you cut it is you bisect it. You bisect it down the middle here, and you then cut it across the other way. So you're making four chunks, okay? I'm gonna show you what the chunks look like. Uh, we're not cutting here today because I'd want a bigger cutting mat, or we could fold it and cut it. That's, that's how I would do it, probably. But you have to be really careful. You have to be really careful. Would you cut it in half? Would you do this in half? I don't know. I'm a little worried actually about cutting it, or I mean folding it in half and cutting it. So what I would actually do is I would get a cutting mat that was bigger than, than this, or I would put two cutting mats together maybe, or just kind of inch along. Cutting a big piece like this is, is you got to be careful with it. You don't want to chop it the wrong way. So get a really long ruler, take your time, mark it, mark it with a pencil on the back and be careful when you, that's probably the best way to do it. Okay, so anyway, so then when you cut it into four parts, what you have are these four parts. Magically, we have them. Check it out, okay. Now, the, thing, the secret to this disappearing nine patch thing is that when you make those big, when you make that that I just showed you, the center color is always the same. However many of those you make, and your pattern will tell you of those big, these, these guys. See that center yellow? It's always gonna be the same color, whatever you choose to put inside that. And you probably won't use a layer cake for that. You'll have to cut, cut your squares from another fabric because you need more of those than you probably have in the layer cake. But you can find out for yourself. So you see how this was? This was our big to-do. See how it all went together? Center. And this is a nine patch. That's why they call this the disagreeing nine patch. So, yeah, well, okay, so, yeah. Okay, so anyway, so now we have these four quadrants, and now we turn them. So you do like this, like that one's that way. And then you turn this one this way. You just turn them higgledy-piggledy. You go like this. And maybe you go like this. Look how complicated it looks. It looks like you did set in seams. It looks like you did r strips and rows, but you didn't. You just did a nine patch and then you sliced it into oblivion and you sewed it back together. You know, quilters are crazy. We take perfectly good fabric and we cut it up and we sew it back together again. Isn't that crazy? It's really silly, but boy, do we love it. Um, and that is how you do that quilt. Layer cake, nine patch, slice it, 
and rearrange. And you know, this is a really good place to have a design wall. So you can stick things up on the design wall, turn things the way you want to. And you know what, last thing is if you, if you do this and two yellows are matching, that's okay. It actually kind of adds to the complexity, the way it looks so complex. So don't worry about sewing like to like. We don't usually do that in patchwork, but in this case, it's okay. That's all we got for you today, folks, ladies and gents. This is Mary Fonz, and this is Quilty, over and out. Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock. Baby Lock sewing and long arm machines, from piecing to long arming for the love of sewing. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella, a unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Hovel's Sewing, cut to the point with Hovel's Sewing. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Northcott, cottons that feel like silk. Omnigrid, providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years.